As a filmmaker or a video creator, have you ever wished you had shot something at a higher frame rate so you could create a nice slow motion effect? Yeah, been there and done that. So let's check out a tool that can save your day when that happens. When filming weddings, promo videos, films, or just vlogs, you either plan ahead with your slow-mo shots and shoot them at a higher frame rate, or you shoot everything at a higher frame rate, which will make your editing workflow much harder and you'll use up so much more storage space. Because I mean, 50, 60 FPS is probably good enough for slow-mo shots and is still manageable while editing, but it won't give you that cinematic look. But 24, 25 FPS that will give you the cinematic look can be used for slow-mo because it'll look stuttery. Well, in case you find yourself in a situation where you desperately need to slow your low FPS footage down, here is what you can do. Professional video editors like DaVinci Resolve have features to perform this task. But in DaVinci only the studio version has this, which is like 300 bucks. So a cheaper alternative is the Uniconverter that you can get from videoconverter.wondershow.com and it'll literally only take you a few clicks to perform this task. When you have the Uniconverter installed, what you'll have to look for is the Video Enhancer AI tool. This AI tool has multiple features, of which we'll use the frame interpolation one. This feature can give a video clip a two times or four times higher frame rate. This means that your 24 FPS footage can almost have 100 FPS, which will give you a very nice slow motion result. The tool runs on AI credits, which you can buy by clicking on this button here using a free account, or you can get some alongside a subscription. So here is how to use it. First of all, import your video clip. Then select the frame interpolation feature. Next, choose your ratio. Let's go with four times. Finally, select an output folder and click on export. The process will take a few moments or minutes depending on the length of the clip. Okay, now let's see the result. What you're gonna see are the clips side by side where the original footage was shot at 24 FPS and then we'll have the enhanced one at 96 and both will be slowed down by 75%. So, convincing enough? Alright, I hope that video helped. If so, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.